Today, we are going to review the Anchor Powerhouse 2 400. Inside the box, you'll find your powerhouse, your instruction manual, a cord to connect your power, the power brick, a 12 volt connector, and some USB cords. And here's your power box. You have your electrical outlet here. Some USB plugs, three of them. This is how you power charge it, DC in. And I don't know what this thing is. Here's the cigarette lighter adapter. And then turn it on. You can see the battery is 100% charged. So the first item we want to test out is to see if this will power on a hair dryer. And this is the plug. Turn this on. And this light's on, that means it's powering this plug. So it doesn't use the temperature and it will power low but not high. So for this, it will power your hair dryer on low speed. And this is the charge. You will get 0.7 hour usage. You will get 0.7 hour usage. What? The hair dryer. The next item to try out to see is if a hot water kettle will work. And make sure the light's on. Let's turn it on. Let's see. And you see it's being powered up, so now it's draining the battery. And it looks like it won't power a hot water kettle. Oh, lights on. And no, it will not power on. The next item to try is a heating pad. And here's the plug. It looks like you get 7.8 hours. Well, it looks like 11 hours now. And the heating pad is starting to get warm. So the power charger will work for a heating pad. And you'll get about 8 to 11 hours of usage. It looks like it's fluctuating. The final item will be to see if a 55 inch LCD TV works. And the TV's plug in here. And it looks like you'll get about 3.2 hours and the TV is on. So this will power a TV. You get about three hours of viewing pleasure. And next, we'll see if it powers a lamp. Here's the plug for the lamp. And there's a lamp. So, you'll get about 2.3 hours of maximum light. 
So if you want to charge back up your power pack, you want to plug into your AC outlet and then use the supplied cord to plug into your system. And you'll know it'll tell you the time it'll take to fully charge. And here's 0.2 hours. And since we're at 97%, it won't take that much longer. Overall, this is a pretty neat battery pack. There's a light here on the side that you can turn on and it's adjustable brightness, flashing, low, high. And there's also a light in the back. There's a button here. Here. And you can use that as a lantern at night. And there's different settings, low, high, super high, and off. And the color is more like incandescent lamp color. It's a warmer light. So I do recommend getting this unit if you need it for camping or for emergency power. Uh, unfortunately, the size of the battery is not too big, so you cannot power high power items like uh, super using high power on their hair dryer or even like a hot plate. Enjoy.